Hello everyone, Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Mahome University. I want to talk about job security. You know, I've made a few videos on this here, some motivational, which I am about to get started to start doing more, more motivational video. But I'm going to tell you what, for those of you asking for me to make motivational videos, I'm going to bring it. Some of you say I'm a little too military-like. I've heard, I've heard it say that way. That's plenty fine. I give it like it is because that's the reality of, okay? High fives do not work. Get your butt up and get it done. That works. Anyway, I'm out here taking an air breather, drinking me some coffee. Sometimes just coming out and taking a breather, getting some coffee is a break enough. Almost like it just regens the brain, I guess. It feels good. It's a good little mind break. Someone, someone very close to me just lost their job. Job, you know what I think about that. Just over broke, that's what it means. And, you know, it's always the same thing going right back around you know the whole well it, you know it's my job i have to go to work you know don't get me wrong in essence when i'm saying that because i don't ever want people to think that i'm saying be ungrateful of having a job everybody needs a job everybody needs pay we all need a way of living right but uh you know have a job do the best at it give it your 110 percent each and every day all in and be appreciable be grateful but never settle and that's the key never settle means always be looking for other avenues now think about it this way a successful individual on average has anywhere from five to seven minimum streams of income how many streams of income do you have because if you're sitting there having a one job and this is all you have this is the only form of you making income of some sort well then that's only one stream what happens when that one stream goes away what do you do then? You know, 80% of Americans, it is show the statistics, are two paychecks away from broke. Now, uh, you know, some of you may need to rethink that or rehear that again. Let me say it one more time. 80% of Americans are two paychecks away from broke. What does that mean? Think about your net worth. What is your net worth? Okay, your net worth is in reality how much all you have inclusive and all around are able to go without money in a sense, right? There's many ways it can be broke down, but think about it this way. If all I have to do is without two paychecks to be broke, that's a problem. Th that's not even a month. Now, some people get paid once a month, twice a month, every weekend, every Friday, whatever it may be. Wow, it is warm out here though. Okay, if all it took was two Fridays for me to go into a broke department, that's not very good at all. And some of you are sitting there still wing, wondering, winging, and waiting for something better to come around. Wishing does not make anything happen. You know, one of my coach mentors says, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. And I have a strong belief in it that sense. I add it to other things too. But you're sitting around waiting, hoping, wishing. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work for you. You need to step up. You need to get out there. And you need to make a change. Some of you, especially who are married, have families. It is always that next generation that we want to be able to provide more, that much more than the previous generation. Now, I grew up fairly poor, that we had little to nothing, there was no vacations. You know, some of the vacations that I see kids taking now, and even my son, some of the things that I'm able to give them, and I'm grateful for, those are things I did not have, okay? And, you know, I love my parents, but they simply believed in go to work, come home, and that was it. And that's not how you get ahead, not in life. You know, sacrificing today for a better tomorrow goes a long way. And especially for those family loved ones, your kids, you know, the things that you're able to provide them that even you, you didn't have, that is a blessing in a sense. Create different passes of income. Create different streams of income. Mobile homes, which I coach, invest, and do all around with, you know, that is a great way to get into any type of passive income. It is a hidden side to real estate, low risk, high reward, and a low entry. I mean, there's no other investment that you can't go that low. But let me get back to my story here real quick because these things bother me. And, you know, I left corporate America a year ago, a year and about a couple weeks ago, and it was the best thing I could have done. My mentors told me repeatedly, when you decide to finally quit, because I was more than ready, but it's that leap of faith you have to take, and it's always that insecurity. But what if? But what if? Look, those are never going to go away. You might as well peace, make peace with those in a sense. Okay? Make those grow you, not keep you from my coach has said, you will ask yourself repeatedly, why did I wait so long? And I did. I waited way too long. I could have quit four or five years ago, but I did not because I felt like it was a security. And it was not. It was keeping me from being able to. I, I could possibly be twice or three, even three times bigger than I am in a sense of my business today if it had not been for me keeping that job. Um, COVID came. That, that's what really did it for me is COVID came around. Now, I had been in this corporate business for a few years, of course, 
and I had gone up the chain. You know, originally when I started, I thought, you know, I didn't know anything about passive income. I didn't know anything about real estate. So in my sense, I just thought, be good, be successful, and keep climbing up the ladder. I can become maybe up to even CEO at one day. I really did saw that. I, I went up to as high as third level logistics manager for one of the biggest writing, uh, one of the biggest logistics companies in America. And then it just, you know, it clicked that I couldn't do so many hours, so many continue day in, day out and for minimal pay. And it was always up to somebody else to tell me, yes, you can take off, etc. But, you know, when COVID came around and hit and they furloughed us, which, OK, you know, it's part of the pandemic. It is what it is. But they furloughed us, which was no big deal. Basically, go home, you don't work and you get paid. And I was kind of like a vacation in a sense. OK, but. Then the extensive came in. Okay, well, because of COVID, we don't know when we're going to start back. So at this time, we're going to just basically let y'all go with no pay. Okay, that's where things change suddenly. So I've been with this company for almost 10 years now. I've been good to them. I've been there every day. I've done all my best each and every day, day in, day out. And something happens like that. And suddenly my income. Now I had other streams of income. So I was okay. That's not the way for everybody else was though. But just like that. They gave us a call and said, as of today, you will not longer receive pay until you come back to work. Now, some of you don't get this. Some of you just get fired. You get laid off. Like in this sense, this very close person to me did. Just basically, hey, as of today, you no longer have a job. Okay. That really struck for me at that point because it really got me thinking as of, okay, you know, here's what my coaches are talking about, my mentors. Now, they're all pushing and telling me and really asking me at this point, why are you still in corporate America? Okay, you know. That's one thing. But when they let me go like that, it was a real insight for myself within me as in to, there it is. And this is what they're talking about and relate to. Because if it's that easy for them to let me go, I can be replaced at any point for, for one. We already know that. But they let me go, no pay. And suddenly, what if I didn't have other strengths of income? It was COVID. Can't get another job. See, a lot of people don't think into that, and it's time that you step back and realize that you have to create your own income. You have to create your own ways of source of making money, okay? Real estate is the number one way of making money and has been for many, many, many years, a long time, even back into freaking the beginnings of. Real estate is huge, okay? And mobile homes are just an easy way to get into, but, and I'm all over the place here, of course, I'm telling stories, but this individual that is very close to me has been working in this place for probably 15 years. 15, 20 years. It's, it's been a long time. All, all his life has been surrounded around this job, including even the home that he had came with the job. It was just the way it was structured. And just like that one bad event happened they didn't agree with, I mean, it's just, it was a setup for disasters the way I saw it, really. All your security was on this one job. And I try to say it multiple times, you know, what happens if the job goes, then you have no home also. I mean, it's not going to turn out for you. No, no, it's fine. I have job forever. That didn't happen because of the last week, he no longer had a job. Now he has to move away. He has to go find somewhere else. He has no job. He has to go back into another. I mean, it's just like, and one thing that I keep in mind is his age, almost 60. Guys, what are you waiting on? You know, when I tell people my age, they, they all tell me, oh, you're so young. I don't think I'm so young. When, when I think in a sense of finance business and where I should be passively income, I think I'm way behind. Because there's some kids out there now at 17, 18 starting businesses. Now, it's not a comparison, but it's a reality check that you can start early on. And when you put your discipline forward and you start doing things early, you can enjoy the day or tomorrow. I don't want to be 60 and finally retire. Finally at 60, I get to go on a vacation. I'll take a vacation when I want to take a vacation. Maybe I decide to go tomorrow. And that's not being braggadocious here by any means. I'm just pointing it out. I will not sit and wait for somebody to tell me, yes, you are approved to take a vacation. I'm going to make my source of income and I'm going to go as I please. That's just all there is to it. It is easier said than done for many people. But what I'm saying is that you, you have to take a leap of faith. Don't even do it for yourself at this point anymore. Do it for those loved ones. Do it for your family. Because when you do lose a job, it is not just you suffering. Your entire family suffers. There's no more income. Suddenly you were supposed to have fun. You're supposed to have vacations. And you cannot do that anymore. Why? Because you failed. You failed to create an additional source of income that you knew you should have been doing all along. When it comes to mobile homes, if it's something that you're trying to invest in, I can help you. I can coach you step by step from beginning to the end. I offer so many coaching and I do even above and beyond because I love that. You know, I have many. I... I maximize every avenue within mobile home investing but i will say that my most favorite aside from rtos <laughs> rent the homes is coaching
I love coaching. I love taking, especially that brand new beginner and taking them from step nothing to the next step where they actually have their investment. And when they start collecting that passive income and I see that joy in their face, I've done my job. That's good. That, that's, that's a reward that I'm not going to get from a sale. I hope this video helps. It's some motivation for you. I do have another motivational video coming and I'm going to start making these for you. People are asking for them, but like I said, I'm going to bring it. I'm going to get you the reality of, you know, do not expect high fives with me. I know it's a little loud right here in the background, by the way, we're about to be done with the video, but yeah. Anyway, I wanted to toss on that story there. When I first heard it, I started to make a video, but I was a little aggravated to say the least by hearing that, you know, 15 years, 15, 20 years, you lose your job, lose your income you have no house that's unacceptable that's you know and it's a setup you know in a way you are responsible again there it is me bringing the real app you're responsible so if you're looking for coaching visit garcia mhu.com email me directly at j at garcia mhu.com till next time thank you for watching